Hi, super excited to share my uh, coconut yogurt recipe with everybody. I am a lover of ice cream and anything dairy, creaminess, I love it. But I cannot have it anymore and it's fine. I've kind of come to uh, <laughs> grips with the fact that it's just not good for my body. So I have been researching and looking into alternatives that will meet that need, that creaminess need. And um, the coconut yogurt has been huge for me. And I've been actually putting it in my protein shakes and it makes it really creamy, almost like there's real milk in it. And I also just do like little parfaits with strawberries or blueberries or raspberries um, with like a little bit of granola and it's, it's delightful. And there's no sugar in it, minimal ingredients. And I'm gonna show you how to make it super easy. So uh, two ingredients. So this is the coconut yogurt or the coconut milk that I use. Uh, it's organic and this brand has done me well so far. So it's pretty good. Uh, and then I also use this probiotics. You can use whatever probiotic you like. Um, this one has the 40 CFUs in it, the 40 billion, I should say, CFUs. It's uh, from Garden of Life. It's a really good quality brand. It's non-GMO, so I do like that. Um, and you need a mason jar with a lid. And then the other thing is uh, cheesecloths. And the cheesecloths, um, I actually got this whole pack on Amazon for like $6, and it's been working awesome, so it's really inexpensive. And the, the milk costs probably around like 3 to $4 at your grocery store. Uh, so what you need to do is you get your mason jar and I already kind of started scooping in the solid part of the of the milk. I'm going to move this stuff aside so you can see. And um, then you have like your liquid in the can as well. So I wanted to get the, the solid stuff kind of in there first because sometimes it makes a mess. It'll splash. <laughs> so I just wanted to avoid that before starting the video. So I just scoop everything in here to get every little bit it's like a type a ocd thing i have so get it all in there and then i have my little scraper guy i love this little spatula it's just like a little mini spatula gets everything off helps with my type a give it a little stir and then um what i do is i just mix i use just like a little whisk and i will just mix this until everything is uniform you don't really want any chunks in here. You definitely want it to be all smooth. So I would say mix it for about 30 seconds or so until it's all good and smooth. And um, so regular dairy unfortunately causes inflammation in, in your body. And uh, with autoimmune disease, you wanna do everything that you can to avoid that. So I have eliminated regular dairy and I have eliminated um, wheat, gluten, and that sort of thing, and a couple of other things like nightshade vegetables, and um, and it really has helped me tremendously, so I'm not, I'm not switching back. All right, so this looks pretty good. I think that's pretty non-chunky. So, um, and then the next step is you just take your probiotics and you just kind of do a little twisty turn, and then you just pour it in there like that. So you just do the three of them, and then I'm just gonna mix it up again and just to make sure that you get all that probiotic in there and to the bottom and throughout because that, that way it will be evenly dispersed and you'll get that uh, <clears throat> texture that you're looking for. So just keep mixing it up uh, until you kind of get it all in there. This size actually works perfect, this mason jar. Um, and then the next step is just take that out super easy. So I just cut like a little piece of the cheesecloth. I place it on top and then I just take the lid to the mason jar and I just put it on top and then you just set it on the counter for 48 hours and then put it in the refrigerator. Don't let it go any longer than 48 hours. You can set a timer on your phone or a reminder and then you put it in the fridge and then once it's in the fridge for a couple hours, this is what it looks like. So it's thick like a Greek yogurt. So I'm just gonna take a little scoop there just so you can see, I mean, it's really thick and it's delicious. There's no sugar. Um, it tastes really super yummy. And again, I've been putting it in my protein shakes. You can put it in your smoothies in parfaits. There's so much that you can do with it. Um, your oatmeal, whatever, whatever your preference is, but it's a nice alternative to dairy. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And I will be posting the actual recipe um, so that you can view that and, um, you know, screenshot it or whatever you want to do to save it. Thanks so much. Have a great day.